What's up, people? Welcome back. Mm. Watermelon boba. It's really good right now in the summer. It is time for a Q&A with my Harley Davidson 48. I've had this bike for a year now. If you guys go back to watch when I first bought it, I think it was around July or something like that. I went to Huntington Beach. I did a little ride. And it was a spur of the moment thing. I traded in my 883 and I got the 48 right on the spot. Huntington Beach Harley. It's done, boys. I bought the 48. Traded in my old one. It is done. Huntington Beach Harley Davidson. He's taking my old bike right there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bike. It is gone forever. But also, I've been getting some questions in my YouTube and on my Instagram and all these questions, you know, and uh, I just didn't have time to answer them all. So, you know, I really appreciate the questions. So, I'm going to answer them right now in this whole video right here. Okay, so I compiled a list of questions here on my phone. I'm going to answer them. And we are at a parking lot right now next to Target. All right, Harley Davidson 48, one year later. How do I feel about it compared to the 883 and the 48? Any differences? Is the 48 a good beginner bike or is the 883? The 48 is a good beginner bike. I think if you buy the 883, you're going to regret it in less than a year and then you're going to want a little bit more power. The power difference isn't that much of a difference, but it is to have the most power for the sporty. I really switched to it because, like I said, I, I want to push as much power as I can with the sporty frame. And you know, the 1200 is the highest that they go to right now. If they had a higher one than that, I'd, I would buy it. I would get the fastest model in the sporty frame. Also, I like how the 48 looks with a fat tire. I did like the mini tank. <laughs> I like the look of it. With the riding that I was doing, I, I couldn't you know keep on riding with the mini tank there I think the mini tank someone was asking like how long can you ride with a mini tank and I rode it all the way from Huntington Beach back to Rancho Cucabunga and I didn't need to fill up that was on a full tank how many miles is that like 50 miles so like I think you can get 80 to 90 miles on it and I think when the fuel light comes on you get like another 20 miles or something like that um, I do recommend the 48 as a good beginner bike because you will waste money just go to that one or go to the, the lowrider as like Albert did <laughs> but let me uh, stress this right here everyone's riding experience is different everyone has a different confidence on their bikes I started with fixing old cafe racer bikes that was like 175 cc and then I went to a, a Grom that's 125 and then I rode a 350 I rode a 250 little um, dual sport and then I went to the Harley so everyone's riding is different you know like if I started out I would have been fine on the Harley still but I, I would have been super scared <laughs> like everyone I would have practiced around the neighborhood a lot and I mentioned this in my riding videos uh, you got to take it out to the street light you're not gonna learn anything if you don't if you're stuck in the neighborhood you're, you're stuck in a bubble and then group rides are really important once I joined group rides I learned so much and you just get way better experience <laughs> Even if you don't ride with them all the way, just ride a little bit with a group ride. You'll learn so much. I'll show you how many miles I have on this 48 right now. And uh, I'm waiting for it to get close to 5,000 so I can do the 5,000 mile uh, checkup and oil change and all that stuff with it. So yeah, uh, fuel tank, like I said, you know, um, if you ride a lot, you ride with groups, you ride far. If you're commuting to work, that's like an hour away and an hour back, get a bigger tank. But if you're riding locally around, uh, you can get to work in an hour with one tank and then you might feel scared about going back, like halfway back, the lights probably gonna come on, you know, so. That's the thing with the fuel tank. Fuel tank, watch my install video on it. I felt like it was easy. It wasn't too hard to replace the fuel tank. I just had to buy a uh, Harley 2007 fuel tank and higher, I believe it was. I couldn't get anything lower or it won't fit. And this fuel tank I have on it is a 2009 Nightster that I bought from uh, Facebook Marketplace. The guy from San Diego, he was so cool enough to ride down. He loved riding his Harley. So he rode all the way down and delivered me the tank. All right, I get this question all the time. The height, how high do you need to be to ride this Harley? Or what's my height? I am 5'8" almost 5'9 and I'm wearing boots right now so um, definitely 5'9 with the boots but I'm like halfway you know 5'8 and a half 
but uh, you don't need to be tall to ride a Harley. These these Harleys are cruisers. Like, sit back on it. You plant your feet down if you're like five four or whatever. I think it's just you know you can get a bobber seat. Hmm. These Harleys are pretty low. A rod construction. Hmm. Hi, how's it going? Psycho. Let's talk about handlebars here, right? Let's get up here and talk about handlebars. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring this up here. Here it is. This is the Lucky Dave San Diego handlebars. I had an issue with this because the 883 had a different setup for the triple tree holding the handlebars. It allowed this type of handlebar, but for the 48 here, I had to buy this custom triple tree that can handle riser handlebars in there. I have a 12 inch on this one. Uh, it's all preference. I had the lower window bars before and it's, it was, I had to lean down a little bit more. So, you know, that's why I got these 12 inch ones. Wait, I think the window bars, maybe that was like an eight inch or something, I forget. But it was just lower, I had to hunch over, and I hate hunching over. I had to do quite a bit of modification on this and buy quite a bit of things, because I had to do the triple tree, and then these bars cost a lot. Then I had to buy the mountain bracket right here, mountain bracket, everything is in the description if you want to find it. Uh, on the website, you can see photos, you can see where I buy all the stuff, so I'm okay with this height that I bought. And I like them, I'm sitting straight up. And it's great for me so Ugh. this seat is by CC rider they hooked me up with the seat and I've been riding with it ever since before that I had the La Pera bobber seat and I didn't like that seat but the style was cool on the bobber seat it's just it was just hurting me while I was riding on it this one is just so good I love how it has see right there has that little hump on the back so it can stop me from sliding back um, it feels good but you know, see, it's all preference for people too. I do like the bobber seat sometime on how it looks to give it that slim little bobber look. But also I like this look too. And then of course the sissy bar here was the latest edition. I'll leave the company name on there. They hooked me up with that and I like it. I can tie my backpack to it. I can tie camping equipment to it. And it's very sturdy. I can ride long distance on it looks really cool too they are actually sending me another bar that I'm gonna do review on soon so can't wait for that one it's gonna be a little bit more slim too mid controls versus forward controls I swapped out this Harley 48 with my friends mid controls when I rode it back from Huntington Beach all the way home the forward controls were fine I felt fine on it it's just I, I like to stand up and I do a little bit more aggressive riding and I can control it a little bit better with the mid controls, I feel like I can get out of very bad situations if I need to. I can swerve on it really quick. And I feel like I lose some of that timing on the four controls. Maybe I'm just not too experienced with the four controls. Because a lot of the other bikes I ride, they just had the mids, right? So uh, I just like the mids more. So I swapped it out. Uh, look at my Bassani pipes right here, right? The last thing I had a problem was with that bar right there. The bracket holding the pipes on, it broke and I had to weld it twice. Yeah, I'm still rocking these Bassani pipes. And here's the thing, I just bought a Fuel Moto map tune for my Harley 48 with this Bassani pipe. And I've been riding around, testing it out. So I've been testing out the tune and we're gonna see how it is. And I, I plan on doing a review video on that soon. And I'm riding around, testing it out to see what the difference is with the stock map that I've been riding. Well, it's not stock map, but it's with the PV4 stock maps. They only give you two of them. So I've been riding with that for like a year. Let me find some more DM questions here that you guys had. Okay, here's another question with the uh, T-Bar install and about the cable kits and all that. I did have to buy a cable kit, so if you watch my install uh, video on it, I show everything with the cable kits and everything. You have to replace it if you're getting 12 inch bars. Yeah, like eight inch bars, you don't have to replace the cable. But anything higher than eight inch, you have to re replace the cable, so there you go. Here's a random one. If $4,000 was deposited into your account, what would you use it for? Uh, I would use it for stripper. Rah, rah. Gang, gang. Gang. Daddy, chill. Uh, I'm a really techie guy. I buy a lot of tech stuff. I would buy a really high quality camera. I see all these vloggers with these, uh, the Sony camera and the expensive lenses. I will pour it all into that because I think it takes like three grand for all that stuff. <laughs> because I love high quality videos. When I'm watching Harley videos, 
that's why I went to 4K videos. And uh, I, I can't believe I took so long to do 4K. I've been doing 1080 and it's just like, ah. Uh. So 4K looks good right now. And then I upgraded my GoPro with the lens and I have this lens filter and it makes it so much more poppy and nice. I'm planning on getting the new GoPro too. That's what I'll, I'll also spend the money on. I want to get the new GoPro when it comes out. I'm waiting for the 12. The 11 is awesome. Everyone says it's really good. The 12 is going to come out in like a month or two here. It's so close. And, and really good sound too. I hope this is good sound right here on my stick right here. That's why I put on this lavalier mic. Uh, for you guys wondering about my GoPro setup and stuff, I did do a GoPro video on it. And I think I titled it something like my GoPro setup on my Harley. There's also an additional video in there that you should watch. It's a video of me and Linda riding at Joshua Tree. And I thought it was very fun. We're riding at night, goofing around. So that's on top of the video. So like, I always try to squeeze in some more extra videos for you guys so you, you can watch and just make it more entertaining so that it's not all boring GoPro <laughs> setup video, you know? So go watch that video. I noticed you make like fried chicken too, right? <laughs> I think I'll try the fried chicken next time because it looks pretty good too. Those two were still there. We didn't kind of be like. Alright, guys, the owner is pretty cool. And I was chatting with her, and I'm going to hook her up with a Kevlar sticker. All your drinks come in this type of cup, right? Okay. Same for that. Oh, the signature one. Okay. Ooh, here's my pokey. She gave me a sticker too, Reina. You guys watch Reina? She's awesome on Eden. Look yeah, at She hooked me up with a 85 degrees bakery pastry that she had. Awesome over for her, but um, great place here. Food was great. Next time I go back, I'm gonna try out the fried chicken. But uh, yeah, poke was good. This drink was really good. I asked for a passion fruit. I didn't see it on the menu, but I think she just made me it. Put mango in there and all this stuff. Very good. This cup is pretty cool. I'm gonna try to keep this. See if I can fit it in my pocket here. Take it back. So now that I've had this bike for a year, do I plan on upgrading or going to another bike? I love the sporty frame still. I don't plan on upgrading right now. But if I were to pick another bike and upgrade, I feel like I would go to a sport bike. I, I've just been wanting to really ride a sport bike a lot. But I do feel like it's just, I want to mess around with it for a little, a little bit and then I'll just want to be back on the Harley, you know? If I were to sell this, I would get a supermoto or a sport bike. How much did I buy the Harley for? I think I had a few questions about this. So for the 883, out the door was around 11,500. And I, uh, I didn't finance or anything, I just paid for the whole thing. That was, that was for the 883. For the upgrades for the 883, I believe I put about three grand into it. So it was quite a bit. <laughs> but for the 48 right here, I think the tag was like, how much was it, 15? 16,000 it was somewhere around there because I I didn't pay that price I traded in the 883 and then I had to pay 7,000 so just think about that and same thing I, I didn't finance I just paid for it but I don't think you should just pay for a bike fully I think you can invest better you can get a lot of cash back if you you know pay it through a credit card Get all that cash back and then you can just pay it off or something or but then you can also think about this if you pay for a bike monthly just think about using that cash to invest in stocks or put it into a savings type of thing that would just generate you money throughout the years by the time you pay it off then you'll make more money off of it right so you can think of it that way too so yeah i got that question a lot how much was the harley and the same thing with the 48 i believe i put in like three grand into it uh, the pipe is the most, you know, and the handlebar kind of screwed me over. 
it would have been a lot less if I didn't do this <laughs> handlebar because I had to do the triple tree. This triple tree costs so much, the brackets cost so much, the extra cables, and then this handlebar too. Was, the handlebar was like 300. Everything. You can watch a video on my handlebar setup. But uh, you know, I like how custom it is. And I want to say I'm very lucky to have some of these sponsors that gave me uh, a lot of parts that saved me money, like the seat, CC Rider seat, shout out to them, gave me the seat. I think the seat was like 250 or 300 bucks for the seat. Sissy Bar 2, same thing, a couple hundred for that. They're sending me another one, I'm gonna do a video on that. I wish I could have got the handlebar for free or like some parts on that, but I didn't really reach out to those companies. The tuner was a lot. I don't recommend the PV4. I recommend anything other than that. You can go for the older model, the PV3, but I don't recommend the PV4 tuner by Dynojet. I do like the Vance and Hines FP3. That's what I used on the 883, but that's another video. I'll do a whole um, tuning video because like I said, I, I have the fuel modal map in here and I've been testing it out. And uh, shout out to them too. Great company, great customer support. That's what you need. Basani, horrible customer support. But I like the way the pipe looks. And also shout out to Foggy Garage for hooking me up with, wow. And finally shout out to Foggy Garage for hooking me up with some awesome gloves that I wear all the time. All right. Last question, what happened to Linda? I know I get that question a lot. Uh, I mentioned in previous videos where she crashed and uh, her bike is done. And we also had Joseph crash recently and his bike is done. So go to the Instagram, you can see all their updates on there and you can wish them a get well. And they're recovering, Linda actually recovered. She's hopped back on her bike again, start riding again. But yeah, go wish everyone well. And so, you know, everyone's doing their own thing. Uh, Albert, John, everyone's like moving. They moved into new houses and everyone's just doing their own thing. So whenever they can ride, I'll get them together. But for now, I think I'll just be hitting up some local uh, group rides here and there, some food places, some boba places. I hope you like that boba place I showed earlier. Very cool place that just opened, met the owner. I love meeting all the local owners around here, chatting with them, seeing how well they're doing. And I plan on doing a few more like that. And we're just gonna have fun with it. We're just gonna keep riding the Harley around. Yeah, mini dude. There's your ruckus, the one you sold. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I answered a lot of questions. Uh, just keep posting them. And sorry if I don't get back to you guys right away. I'm just really busy with a lot of things. And I just try to, you know, keep up with the content, even though it's just once a week. But I'll see if I can pop out more. <laughs> it just takes a lot of time. I have other stuff too. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Psycho. Woo! So, how does it feel riding a Harley? Well, I've been on sports bikes. I've been riding this one for a while. Don't you go, buddy. And a uh, sport bike is a lot lighter. So I think the main difference is that a Harley is just super heavy, right? And uh, but you know you can both maneuver very, very well. Um, of course, you can man maneuver a little bit better on a sport bike. And uh, I just feel like a sport bike, you have to be a little bit more careful. You're hunched over, but you can like you can just take off on that thing, and you might hurt yourself if you're not careful. With a Harley, you're just cruising. I feel like it's a little bit harder to hurt yourself on it. You're sitting more upright. You're just like cruising around and and you pull this throttle and you know it's not as responsive as the sport bike. Even though it is responsive. Oh, look at that. But I, I did notice with the sport bike the, the throttle is a little bit more responsive. I had to watch out on it. Had to be careful. And I kept on stalling out a lot more on the sport bike. I think the clutch was a little bit, like you just let out a little bit, you know, and, and you gotta give it gas. But uh, the Harley is a little bit more generous with that. So I just feel like those are the differences. My best view. Turned into choirs of harmony. Oh, 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 ice cream, yum! Yeah.
What are you doing? Uh.